Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and today's video is huge. I literally just find, found out how to make pixel animations in OpenTunes. Now before I had a comment, the comment was, was by I think Mr. Thunder. Thank you for leaving the comment. He asked if I can make pixel art and I said you probably need another software but it turns out that you actually do not. I found out how to make pixel art just by testing out with OpenTunes. I was thinking that there has to be a way to make a picture that has super small resolution and scale it up to a way where it doesn't lose quality. And there is a way to do that in OpenTune. So here's how we're gonna get started. This camera that we have, camera one is 1080p, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now that's a lot of pixels. So if you wanna make a pixel animation in 1080p, it seems like it's impossible because pixels are super tiny. But what we're gonna do is going to make that possible by scaling up our pixel, the, the pixel images that we make in this video so they can be big enough to see on a 1080p screen. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to make a raster layer. Now you can right click here, you can do new level, tunes raster layer, and we're going to make the pixels on this 32 by 32. 32, I'm doing this resolution because this is usually what some characters and some games are um, the resolution is so as, as you can see a very very small tiny box and um, Next we're going to zoom in really close and we're going to set up our pixel brush Now as you guys can see here my size for the brush is one and I have this little pencil thing selected I didn't know what this did before but pencil is the most helpful It is literally a pixel brush because the hardness is max if we don't have pencil if we don't have pencil on, then we have like something like this. And we don't want that when we're making precise art, unless you want that for coloring, because I can understand why you want the mix of colors. But once we hit pencil, we have very precise pixel strokes. So no anti-aliasing aliasing on that. So here's what we're running. We're going to draw a little bit of a face. He's just kind of chilling out. We'll give him a, a bear. We'll make it a bear, okay? We'll make it a little bear, a little bear cub. And here's our bear cub. He's just kind of chilling in his little pixel box. He already looks pretty nice. And we can even use the OpenTunes paintbrush to color him. So I'm going to hit new style. Um, and we're going to make him a red bear. So it colors under the lines. As you guys can see, I selected areas. You can do lines. So you can actually color lines. Or you can do lines and areas. And it covers everything. But we're going to do areas so we can color in our pixel bear. So we're going to just fill him in really quickly. Um, and we're going to, after that, we're going to scale him up and see what he will look like. So we have a very tiny pixel bear, but that's not it. Um, if you hit the edit tool, hit control on your keyboard, and then click and drag up, we can make him very big. And you would think that your problem is solved here because I mean, he's already big, yeah, it looks pretty great. But once you hit the render button right here, it's all blurry, like what the heck's up with that? It's so frustrating. We can actually fix that. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is gonna go to file and we're gonna go to output settings. And here we have the resample balance um, in other software like Photoshop. It's called interpolation, I believe. Um, and you're going to click this and you're going to scroll down and go closest pixel nearest neighbor. That's a setting that's also in Photoshop. So we're going to X out. But when we click this, it's still still blurry. That doesn't matter because when we go to the actual rendering and you render your picture, it really is. It looks like the pixel scaled up. So don't worry about when you render this. And it's all blurry because that's just the the inside open tunes. I'm not really sure how you can fix that, but um, for now it doesn't really matter because your real picture actually looks uh, like a pixel art scaled up with losing no quality. This almost looks like a vector. It looks like a vector how smooth it is, and that's pretty much how you make pixel art in open tunes. You make a very small resolution, you scale it up, and then you can just hit the nearest neighbor setting and then your drawing is right there. So you, there's so many possibilities you can do with this. You can make backgrounds in pixel animation, which is why I believe this kind of sort debunks the whole theory that you need a pixel animation software to make pixel animation because it's just simply not true anymore. OpenTunes, I just found this out. OpenTunes has brought us something that is literally special in the animation industry. And I don't believe it'll ever be replicated or maybe even outdone. I mean, of course their pixel animation software has better tools for pixel animation. However, the OpenTunes is completely free and I just really can't get over the fact that it is, it's free. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. I am so excited that OpenTunes has this feature to make 
pixel animation. And I didn't see anyone else with this, so I decided to make a video about it because I didn't know that. Because I don't think anyone else really knew how to make pixel animations. I was so excited when I found this out yesterday, and I'm even more excited now. What's coming next, guys? The future in the future for OpenTunes um, is a, one a lot of new users who are going to be in the pixel art community, and also I'm going to make my next video on how you can make sprite sheets in OpenTunes. So there really is no reason to buy a pixel animation software if you really don't have the cash. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited about this feature in OpenTunes, and I'll be doing more videos exploring how to use it and what to use it with, and how to do the ibs and obs and turning knobs and stuff like that so please leave your questions in the comment section and your recommendation for more animation tutorials and i'll see you guys next time peace